once you've satisfied yourself that you understand what's going on with gross margin, gross profit, you know how much, if using the Toyota example, you know how much the Toyota, Toyota operation has on a going forward basis flowing into their operation to fund their personnel, to fund their marketing and research, to fund all their general administrative, new product designs, uh, any sort of other activities that they have, acquisitions, growth. You understand how much they have to do that. If that's sustained, the next, in other words, you feel that the gross margin is supportive then you might want to look at how well they are managing their actual efficiency of their operation. Are they launching new products in their research and development? How well is their marketing program working? So you can look at trends across various expense line items to see if they seem to be allocating their resources according to the priorities that we've all agreed that we in the strategy have feel they need or they should be or they have been planning on doing over all of this period of time. Okay. If you have a strong margin, the next thing you look at to do is say that the strong margin tells you this business has the potential to succeed. It's positioned well. Then you look at operating expenses to see if they are investing in their operation efficiently and if they are investing also in the future and how they're investing in the future to support this going forward perspective of where the business is going. So you go through that general view analysis of what your business, how your business is performing on an income statement basis. Revenue, revenue growth, trends in revenue growth, gross margin, gross profit, trends in gross profit, operating profit, operating margin, trends in operating margin how well all of that is describing or matches the perspectives that you're going forward and going to look at. 